Welcome back guys, Johnny Keck over at AMP Futures. Thank you for tuning in once again. And we're going to show you in today's video how to switch uh, between demo and live if you're running any type of automation, whether you're using pre-built signals or perhaps if you're just strictly running automated indicators uh, that were programmed in either visualbasics.net or C Sharp. In the earlier video, if you had the opportunity to watch that video, it was strictly showing you how to switch between demo and live if you're just doing manual execution. But in this short video, we're going to show you how to switch and map your account to, to the Paper Trader Broker profile if you're running any type of automation. So uh, let's get right into it. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the platform. And if you're not familiar with what I'm referring to, uh, let me just show you real quick some of the pre-built signals that come included with multicharge.net, uh, which, are, which are free. And I'm not going to show you how to use them, but I'm just going to kind of give you a, a short description of, of what they are so you have an understanding of what I'm referring to. And uh, let me just get the, uh, the dome populated here. Okay, so what happens is if you right-click on the chart and go to Insert Study, you will see some menu options that will appear. So you have indicators, you have signals, and you have add-ons. Okay, so indicators are just common indicators that you normally would use, uh, just like the MACD, for example. And if you add the indicator, then you still have to manually execute the trade when the criteria of that indicator is telling you to buy or sell. So it's still considered manual execution. However, multicharts.net has created uh, sort of a cookie cutter pre-built signal where you can take a common indicator such as the MACD or Bollinger Bands or the indicators that you see listed in the signals tab here, and you can actually automate those indicators to execute without coding. So LE, for example, means long entry, SE means short entry, LX means long exit, SX means short exit. So pretty much what you're doing is you're just taking a common indicator, you're throwing a signal onto the chart, and you have the ability to automate them. Now, the one thing that I want to point out is, so let me go ahead and just take a MACD long entry signal, for example. I'm going to go and click OK, and I'm going to go and add this onto the chart. Okay, so let's remove this Bollinger Bands for a second and remove that one. And we'll just focus on the MACD long entry. Okay, so input values of 12, 26, and 9. So that means that if the criteria of the indicator meets uh, whether to take a long position, then the automated trade will kick in, and you'll fire off an automated trade uh, based on the criteria of how that indicator is, or that signal is added onto the chart. Now, once you add the indicator onto the chart, you know to activate the automation, you normally would click up here in the top left corner where it shows the SA button, strategy automation. But this is what's important. So what happens is, in the previous video, I demonstrated that when you switch your paper trader broker profile, on the top right corner, you'll see the chart trader. And when I switch it to SIM001, it would be logical and common sense for one to think that now you're in demo mode. And that is true if you're manually trading. However, if you're doing automation, there is an additional step to make sure that you're pointing to the paper trader broker profile. So that's why this video is created, to, to help you avoid that mistake in thinking that, to understand that there's an additional step. So what you're going to want to do now is you want to right-click on the chart. Once you have your pre-built signal added onto the chart or automated signal, and then you'll notice format signals will be an option that you can select. All right, so once I get there, you're going to notice it's going to take us right back to format objects, that previous section where we added the, the signal itself, and then you will see a button that says properties right here. You're going to want to left-click on properties, and then you will then see a bunch of tabs here at the top here. So what you want to do is you want to click on the auto trading tab and normally by default the select broker program is defaulted to your live connection. So even though you have this set to SIM001 on your chart trader, your auto trading strategy properties is still mapped to the CQG broker plugin. Alright, so that's not a good thing because what happens is if, if, if the signal gets fired off, it will execute a live trade. So in this case, you have to hit the drop down menu and change that to paper trader and then click OK, and now you have successfully mapped your automated pre-built signal to execute on the Paper Trader Broker Profile. Okay, so that's very important, and that's why I mentioned in the previous video that if you're doing any type of automation, you want to watch this video to have an understanding that there is one additional step to make sure that you're pointing to the correct Paper Trader Broker Profile so that indeed you're executing demo trades. So one more demonstration. Once you add the signal or the pre-built signal or automated signal onto your chart, you right click on the chart, format signals, click on the properties tab, and then on the auto trading tab here, you want to make sure your broker plugin is set to paper trader. Okay, of course, 
if you're going live, it would say CQG, but if you want to go specifically for demo, you want to make sure Paper Trader is selected. Click OK, close, and then you're well on your way in turning on the automation so you know that you're in demo mode. And this concludes how to switch to demo mode if you're running any type of pre-built signals or any automation within multicharts.net. If you have any questions about this, please give our 24-hour support team a call. We are available around the clock to assist you. Otherwise, guys, for more videos, please visit our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Again, that's www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Thank you for tuning in and happy trading.